One of the most spe spectacular and best-known salmon rivers on the Lower Mainland is the Capilano in North Vancouver. And salmon have been returning there to spawn for centuries. But now they're in danger of disappearing. And that's why the GVRD commissioned a report to find solutions to the problem. But that report was completed three years ago, and little has been done since. Linda Aylesworth reports. They'll make their way back into their spawning grounds. That's all. Even before the tourist season officially begins, visitors flock to the Capilano salmon hatchery. They come for the beauty of the place, and of course, for the fish. And in terms of the Salmon River, its salmon runs were legendary. Uh, incredible numbers historically of coho, steelhead, and chinook. But those days are history. Not that the salmon have disappeared. It's just that their numbers aren't what they used to be. The problem began 53 years ago with the construction of the Cleveland Dam. The dam went in in 1954, and while this dam serves a very useful purpose in providing Vancouver with much of its drinking water, it also had a, a significant adverse impact on salmon stocks. The dam blocked the salmon's route to their spawning grounds upstream. A few managed to spawn in the six kilometers of river below the structure, but it wasn't enough to sustain the run, and so the hatchery was built. Once they're fertilized, they go into incubation, then they go into these troughs, and once they're into the troughs, they'll be there for about a month and a half, two months. They're fed every day. After a year, they're released. Still, the number of returning salmon has not recovered. So about six years ago, the hatchery decided to release some of the young salmon fry above the dam. They also trucked up some adults. Our target is about 5,000 adults that we'll put up, and they'll utilize the uh, small tributaries off the Capilano to, uh, to spawn naturally. There's about 20 kilometers of incredible river habitat there, so those fish, those young fish, do very well up that valley. But when the time comes for them to go to sea, they have to travel across the lake and over the spillway. And that is a big problem for a four-inch-long salmon smolt. You can imagine those young steelhead and coho smolts when they have to go over this spillway. You look at that drop, you look at the power of the water, you look at those big rocks at the bottom. Uh, their chances of surviving this are, are pretty slim. Only 15 to 20 percent survive the drop. The dam just isn't fish friendly. But it doesn't have to be that way. If the rocks jutting out at the foot of the dam were removed, the fish would have a better chance. Another idea, a sort of salmon water slide. So as these young fish come across the lake and approach the dam, there'd be a directional net that would funnel them into the top of a flume, and that flume would take them around the dam and down to the bottom and deliver them all safely. They're just some of the recommendations made in a report commissioned by the Greater Vancouver Regional District, a report which three years later has yet to be acted upon. Perhaps one reason is that the fixes would cost about $5 million. The GBRD is now spending $1.5 billion on the upgrade of the water system. So to spend an additional one-third of 1% in an effort to uh, correct environmental and fisheries-related problems, we think that's quite reasonable. What's at stake is the survival of the Capilano salmon run. Oh, you can hear them kicking about. While all the numbers are down, it's the summer steelhead that are of particular concern. This year, only one lone male returned. What does that mean for the future of summer run steelhead? Will there be a run of summer run steelhead four years from now? Nobody knows for sure.